We are jumping right into it today. This is your ultimate gift guide for toddlers and preschool. If you are looking for a unique gift for your own child, a friend or a family, you are in the right place. Now ignore my outfit, but for whatever you're celebrating, birthday, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, I'm gonna give you 50 gift ideas. I'm gonna show you toys that I have enjoyed over the years with my kids, plus some toys that are on my current wish list for my three-year-old. No batteries, these are toys and activities that spark creativity, sensory exploration, and imagination, and give long-lasting fun over the years. Even better, over half of them are under $30. Everything's available on Amazon. I will leave links in the description below. We got a lot to get through, so let's get started. I'm gonna first start with toys that are more for the toddler age. So I'm talking about that two-year-old range. The first item is a great stocking stuffer. This is by Hapa. It's a little Hapa Rainmaker, and I think it's just the cutest little toy. It's one of those nice little sensory items, very unique. It has the wood um, sides to it. It has a soft sound, which is not too obnoxious and kids just stay so engaged by this. This you can get as of the two-year-old age, but they still will enjoy it as of three. Hapa is one of my favorite children toy brands. They make phenomenal wood toys. And this one, I am just gonna show you in the screen. It is their wooden activity center. Now, the reason I like this, I got this one as of about one and a half years old with my son, and he is still playing with it, my three-year-old. I like it, first of all, it's compact. We live in a small apartment, so that helps out. It has four sides to it with all types of activities, and on the top, it has a maze. So in this way, it keeps them engaged. They have all types of things they can do on it. They have the wooden blocks that they can use. They have the balls that keep them entertained. It's a quality product. It's gonna be on the pricier side, but in my opinion, it is well worth it this little tiny fish magnetic puzzle. This is a fun one that you can start as of the two-year-old range, helping them to work on their fine motor skills. I would recommend this one at two. They'll get started with a little bit of your help and then definitely by three they're using but this is a very nice little stocking stuffer as well this is the boone pipes system this is a bath time uh, toy and phenomenal it already starts creating these little innovators in them because they have to put these little suction cups on the on the wall of the bathroom and put water in them and it creates this sort of sort of whole gear and rotating windmill type effect but this is a very unique and nice gift for a young child one of my favorite toy brands green toys first of all i like it because it's recycled plastic it gives off a very different like calm type of energy i know you're gonna think i'm crazy but i just like it and we love the truck and they have different types of trucks and they come in different colors and they also have different sets of airplanes so it gives you a variety of choices to choose from this allows for some great imaginative play these are the little fat boy whirly spinners i got this when my little one was actually quite young he probably was already just only like six months old whenever he had sat down to start eating so i had got these to put on his little table but what i realized is that he's still loving them you stick these on the window and he twirls them around it is a fun little simple gift their unique stocking stuffer but it's on a little bit of a pricier side. From the Fat Boy Collection are what are called their Pip Squeaks. Now, I don't know if I say that correctly, but these I got for a young age, around that two-year-old and even a little bit younger. I like these because they're great sensory items. So it allows them to explore the suction effect. They make these soft, rattle, shaking noises, but these are great for that two-year-old range. And still at three years old, my son pulls these out and enjoys shaking and playing with these. Here are Schoolsy Nuts and Bolts. This is a fun one that I found on Amazon that I like because this helps them to work on their fine motor skills in twisting these. They also can match up shape to shape because 
here you have a little triangle that screws on and it's a triangle shape here so they match the shapes they match the colors it comes in just a small little bag here but this is great starting as of two years old for them to explore this and they will still have fun with this as of three so another schoolsy item that i discovered is this schoolsy pegboard it comes with this foam board with little pegs and what they do is they just put it into those holes and they can stack the pegs i like this because it allows them to stack and work on their fine motor skills but also they can work on sorting and you can even use it in teaching them how to count on the list is another green toys item this is the tea set which is somewhere in my house but i could not find it to dig it out for y'all but i like this one because it also is for imaginative play so it also allows them to work on those mo motor skills at two years old and three years old of starting to pour water into the cups and just enjoying all the creativity around it melissa and doug is another one of my favorites here they have the little puppet set it comes with officially five little puppets but I love these. We have used them for book time. We use them for imaginative play, just all types of things. They've had them since, he's had them since he was about two years old and we're still using them. And I know we will continue using them over the years right now, but they are simple and easy and fun. The Water Wow Water Reveal Pad. And I have enjoyed these. They are great for on the go. They're easy to use because all they have to do is fill up a little bottle with some water and it goes right on there and colors it in. A great on the go item. I would consider these also as a stocking stuffer. As far as I know, Amazon actually sells these in groups of three and I would recommend it because as one is drying, you already have the other one to use. This Melissa and Doug item, I used to own, but I sold it before I had my three-year-old and now I want it back. The Melissa and Doug pattern block puzzle and I'm gonna show it to you. It is on our wish list. My son and daughter, I had it since my first son and he enjoyed it. My second child enjoyed it and right before my third, I didn't know I was gonna have a third, I ended up selling it, but now I want it back just because I know how much fun he will have with it. It's a simple little puzzle set that has double-sided where they insert the shapes into the puzzle, but is a fantastic activity for them to do. You can never go wrong with little ones with wooden blocks. So beyond just the basic structures that they can make and use their imagination, you also develop fine motor skills and you can use it for counting and sorting. From Melissa and Doug and it's their animal magnet set. We have two sets of these. We have the dinosaurs and the basic animal set and they are just super fun. I couldn't dig them out because they're just thrown in a corner right now somewhere, but I'm gonna shoot up a picture of them. Another simple stocking stuffer. A classic Duplos. You always need to have Duplos. They are the starter building set of your Lego adventures. As of two years old, Duplos are the way. Here's the tip I highly recommend if you're buying Duplos for your child, whoever it is, make sure you buy the base plate. It saves you a lot of headache because it allows your child to fix whatever they're building to a nice surface and it doesn't fall over. So get the base plate if you are buying Duplos. We are now getting into more basics. These are, in my eyes, almost essential toys to have in your house. On my wish list is some sensory fidget tubes. What these are great for is those moments where they need to chill out and calm down. This I consider a nice stocking stuffer. So it's not normally an item that you would always buy as a parent. So I think this is a great gift to give to a friend or family member and definitely as a nice stocking stuffer. The next item you can definitely buy as of two years old, it is the micro mini scooter. Now this one is over $30 guys. And unfortunately I can't show you ours right now because we left one at a park and now I need to buy a new one. But I have had a micro scooter for every single one of my kids. And I swear each one of them started at about one and a half years old, scooting around in the house on them. And right now my three-year-old is a little bit 
sad that we don't have his, but the micro mini scooter will last you for years. And the reason I recommend this one is because of the quality of it. And I can attest to it for the fact that we had one scooter for two children. Then I sold, of course, that scooter. And then I recently had to buy a new one for the three-year-old, but it is a great scooter. So check out the micro mini scooter. This next group of toys are appropriate for three years old and up. You have the Strider Balance Bike. I have had Strider Balance Bikes with all my children. It's all about quality. I know the price tag is a little bit high, but if you want to get your child riding a bicycle in later stages, just on two wheels, this is the way to go. I lived 10 years in Amsterdam, and if you know anything about Dutch people, they are bicycle riding folks. Most of their children, if not all, start on a little balance bike, and then next thing you know, you see them running across the road on their two-wheel bike with no training wheels. If you want to speed up that process of them riding on a bike, a Strider balance bike is the way. It's quality. Also, it has to do with the frame. The frame is a nice weight that helps them to transition later into a real bike. If you want to be a little more advanced with the magnetic toy type puzzle, I would recommend this one. This is on our wish list because we're ready for a little, something a little more complicated. I placed this Haba, Haba, I don't I might be saying it wrong, but it's not Hapa, it's another brand, but Haba, H-A-B-A, -A, but they are also very popular wood brand of toys. On our wish list is a kinetic sand set. We used to have some kinetic sand in the house, but it magically disappeared with all the kids playing with it. Kinetic sand is another great sensory type toy. If you don't know anything about kinetic sand, it's like a mix of sand with Play-Doh, so everything stays sticking together, and the kids are able to smash it together, make shapes and towers, all types of different things. So I would recommend this as a unique gift to a friend. The Melissa and Doug four-in-one puzzles. It comes in a little box and it has four puzzles. I think each puzzle are like 12 piece puzzles. These are fantastic as of three years old. They come in a variety of themes that you can choose from. I know that we used to have at least three or four of those themes in the house and I am looking forward to getting those back. Another Melissa and Doug item. If you see that your child is more into advanced puzzles and they've moved past the smaller ones, Melissa and Doug offers phenomenal first puzzles. You can get them as a three puzzle set. And the great thing is they last a long time. I've had these puzzles for at least, honestly, since my first child. So now my third child is getting to enjoy them. We have spent hours of fun with these puzzles. We have some magnetic building sticks and I really enjoy gifts like this because they are very unique and they are educational. This helps sort of to develop sort of that 3D multi-dimensional visionary STEM mindset in kids and allows them to build all types of structures. It's out of the ordinary from your typical like Legos and other building blocks. I like that it gives them new ways of creating structures. This one is also on my wish list. This is the Learning Resources Gears, another STEM science oriented gift. I love when they can put things together and use their imagination, what I consider open play. I do have a video on open play toys that includes pretty much many of the other toys that have included on this list. Open play allows them to just create structures out of their own imagination. I like also with gears that you create a cause and effect. So they put together all the gears and then see how all of them will move together. These STEM building tubes are another item that's on my wish list. As you see, I really enjoy having educational toys around in our house. What I've noticed is when you have toys like this, that they last a long time 
and your child ends up playing with them for a much longer period of time because their creativity just goes wild. On our wish list is this flower stacking toy, completely unique to your normal building, it is fantastic for those fine motor skills. So instead of building blocks and building sticks, this time they are building their own little flower garden. Next on the list is one that we've had many of, but I have to be honest that my older kids get a little rough with it and it has been broken a rocket launcher. Rocket launchers are the thing. They stump on it, shoot in the sky, and they go crazy. Here we have magnetiles. Magnetiles are a classic, a super classic. Also what I consider an educational toy for building sort of their engineering three-dimensional minds. You can also get creative with magnetiles at a young age. You can use them for sorting, so sorting out all the shapes. Also having them sort the different tiles in colors. Magnetiles are for sure a long lasting over the years toy. We are gonna go a little old school because we had these around when I was a young girl and let's just pretend I'm still a young chicken. But anyhow, we have Lincoln Logs. This is best as of three years old. These wooden little logs that they can build all types of structures. This is also a STEM science engineering type toy that allows them to discover sort of open play out of the box type creations. Kappa construction sets. Another one that we have enjoyed over the years. Like I said, Hapa makes phenomenal wooden toys. Here they, allow, they have these little nuts and bolts that they can put together, cars, robots, whatever their minds, little minds can actually think of. And I'm also gonna give you a link to another construction style set that I have my eye on that is by Brio. Brio is another phenomenal wooden toy company. They have a construction set that I have my eyes on and I have to be honest also I don't have it on the list right now but Brio is also a fantastic company that has unique wooden train set toys so check that out. I am all about that open play. And with open play, we bring in Tinker Toys. Tinker Toys, oh, love them. Again, they can just create whatever little structures they come up in their clever little minds. With Tinker Toys, I prefer the plastic version, but I know that they still make the wooden old school version of the Tinker Toys, but this will keep those little hands busy for extended periods of time. Building, 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 I love building. Bristle blocks. This is another creative way of creating structures, also exploring the colors and the shapes. It's another great engineering toy that usually all kids enjoy. The next item you're gonna say, girl, that is way too simple. But trust me, the more simple it is, the wilder, I swear, their creativity gets. These wood little plank sticks. My kids have had these for years and they have turned into all types of things. They have been boats, they have been towers, they have been racetracks. So wooden plank sticks are a great item to have in the house. The Marble Genius Marble Run is well worth the money. My children from the age of three till still now love doing this. If you want to talk about out of the box, engineering, creativity, fine motor skills, everything that you can build into it, that is in a marble run. A little bit of caution, you got marbles involved, so please make sure those little guys are not popping them in their mouth. But when they are small, you can already start with having them build small structures. Now maybe mom and papa get involved and actually build a bigger structure that allows them to really play with the marbles. But this is endless, exciting fun. I honestly sometimes wanna slap myself for the fact that I sold so many toys before I had my third. Here's another one that we had and I want back. A fort builder set. It's the simplest, silliest thing ever, but look at here. It is a set of little balls 
that are in, I don't know if it's an octagon or what, but <laughs> these balls with holes and sticks. It is the simplest way of building super cool forts. What child does not like a fort? I mean, we're still building forts in our house, even though we don't have the sticks, we just take two chairs and throw a blanket over it. But with this fort builder, they have even more fun. Perhaps you say, no, I don't wanna buy any toys. So I'm gonna give you some ideas for this. Here, first of all, are these pretty first 100 words sticker books. Another gift that will give endless fun. These have a full supply of stickers that they put over the pictures, including words, and it's a great way of starting conversation and building language skills. Another alternative to toys is this National Geographic Kids sticker activity book. They have a huge selection of themes in this book. Now, I would recommend this, of course, as of three years old. And this is also an activity book that should be done along with your child because as they're putting the stickers in the book, there's different texts that you can read along with them and educate them on whatever subject it is. Right now, we have this ocean animals on the farm robots. I know that we've had some other subjects, I think like planets, and I can't even think of the other ones. I think my daughter had rocks and minerals, but whatever your child is into, you can probably find an activity book from National Geographic on that. This LCD writing tablet, I got this as a gift from someone and it is super cool. I like this because it's great for on the go, for just taking in the car, nice stocking stuffers. They just write on this little pad and then there's a button they press that boom, erases it. Very easy on the go, fun activity. Here's another non-toy item. We have here Pete the Cat. This comes in a box set and at this point I can't find all of them because we have used them over the years but it is another great little stocking stuffer as of two years old. I don't know what child doesn't like Pete the Cat. It comes in a nice little gift box set of about five or six books, um, but you can find this also in the link below. Also with the box sets, Fancy Nancy. All of my kids have loved reading Fancy Nancy's from my son to my daughters. This is another one that comes in a box set just like the Pete the Cat. I do have a book set on our wish list and that's because it's a little bit of a pricier one. It is a series that's called A Little Spot of Emotion. And this is a very fun series of books that deals with social emotional learning. Different feelings and emotions are explored in each of the books. How I adore you. Another Melissa and Doug favorite that is on our wish list that we need to stock back up on are their coloring pads. On Amazon right now, they have a three pack of them. These have lasted us over the years. And I can tell you right now, my oldest use them my middle one and she still actually enjoys them when we have them around and definitely at that three-year-old age this is a time where they really get into their coloring skills these melissa and doug coloring pads are a perfect size and they have these wonderful vibrant images board games so there are some classics that you definitely have to have in the house candy land shoots and ladders Hi Ho Cheerio, and one that we have on our wish list this year is Zingo. So those are four games that would be fantastic for the preschool three-year-old age. Go out and enjoy the gift giving. All the links are in the description box below. I will see you in the next video.